Speaking of education in Texas, the, get this, the Texas Board of Education, one step closer, this does not involve evolution, okay, for once, it's not about evolution. I know, what a shock! I know, <laughs> what a shock! Time we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, Algebra 2, okay, integers, exponents, uh, polynumerals, mm -hmm. right? So do you remember those topics from grade school? Algebra 2 involves all of that. Should it be a requirement to graduate in Texas? A vote coming up tomorrow will finalize this decision, and it's all part of a sweeping overhaul that the state legislature overwhelmingly approved uh, back in May. And that uh, approval basically scrapped many of the course requirements in advanced math and science and cut down the number of standardized tests from 15 down to 5. The changes were meant to give students more flexibility to focus on career and vocational training, but here come the critics accusing Texas of dumbing down graduation standards so, Chris, let me start with you. Debbie, sure. rational numbers, uh, exponents, polynumerals, yep. can kids live without it? Well, well sure, they Algebra can live two. without it, but, sh but should, should we be lowering the bar? I can't stand the idea of lowering the bar for our kids because they don't seem to be measuring up to the bar. Mm -hmm. that, we're failing our children. And just lowering the bar to make the test scores look look better, maybe qualify for more federal money, it's, it's it, for whatever excuse you're using. Uh, okay, but let me push you on that. Is okay. al just because we're not studying Algebra 2, is that lowering the bar? Maybe they still need to study, yes, but it it's is different, lowering. more practical I, I don't think so. I don't algebra. think it's, it, it's not... You don't need, we didn't need algebra to do our jobs as journalists. Well, what, no, we, no, we no, didn't. No. So it depends on what you're majoring in. If you want to be a scientist and a mathematician, then you need algebra too. And they're saying that those folks will have to take those courses. In if college. you're studying arts and humanities, they're saying we won't make it a requirement. I think it makes a lot of sense. If it doesn't have to do with your major, why do you have to take mm -hmm. it? If it's algebra, gonna... algebra in, in and of itself is more than just about solving a math problem. It's about problem solving. And it actually well, you translates. Still have algebra one. It translates <laughs> over from from let algebra. Guess, were, let me guess. You weren't a math I hate, major. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I hated algebra. Hey, I, I, right. I plateaued it. And I turned out now. just fine. I know. And well, I'm still smart and uh, make yeah. good money. You yeah. don't need algebra to succeed, true, folks. True. I don't like it. I, I know. I, I don't I'm, like not, it. I, uh, I'm I don't like it on this one. I'm not sure. We're, we're going to talk about it some more. Okay. Because you need to, to be you, continued. You need to realize. Yeah, yeah. I have one other point to make, but if we have time, I'll.